Window International Uganda has been operational in Uganda for the last uh, 26 years. We provide quality education at all levels of education. We provide early childhood development training. We provide training for primary, secondary, undergraduate and postgraduate studies. We also provide vocational as well as digital literacy training for young people um, who are refugees and those in host communities. Our interventions promote self-reliance through increased access to opportunities for employment and entrepreneurship so that jobs are created uh, for the young people. Uh, Uganda has one of the youngest populations in the world and there has been a lot of interest and debate in the quality of skills that um, youth come out with uh, out of university and out of the various institutions. So uh, we also know that the private sector led economy has grown tremendously but not enough jobs have been created for the thousands of the youth who graduate every year. The challenge of unemployment and job creation is even greater in refugee uh, settlements uh, where we operate and that's why we've been providing uh, quality vocational training uh, to ensure that skills are created for young people in um, the refugee settings. Window International Uganda does not operate in isolation. The challenges that we face are enormous and there are many uh, issues that we can only do together with partners. So over the years we've worked with various partners to change the lives of young people in um, refugee settings and those in host communities. And we've worked with a number of international NGOs as well as partners including the European Union, UNHCR, UNICEF, uh, World University Service of Canada, as well as Education Cannot Wait. For this, we are really grateful for the support and the partnership. And through these partnerships, we continue to engage young people, to interrogate them about the key issues that are critical to ensure their empowerment and job creation. We believe that education transforms society and therefore we envision a society and a future where young people have access to quality education that enables them to access and create meaningful jobs in their various locations. Young people cover 16% of the global population and evidence has shown that Uganda is one of the countries with the youngest population in the world with about 78% under the age of 24. At Window, this is an opportunity to change the story because numbers never lie. We support young people through skills development, provision of quality education and research skills because they provide support in our data collection and analysis. We use several innovative approaches such as double shift school system, accelerated education system, teaching at the right level as well as ICT skills development and vocationalization of secondary education, among many others. Uh, to date, Window has supported over 3,000 young people to access vocational skills training, and that is both refugees and host community. And over 12,000 young people have also been supported to attain secondary education, as well as over 1,000 young people have been supported at the university level. Window International Uganda is creating change in, uh, in several countries, including Kenya, South Sudan, Somalia, and it is yet to spread uh, to cover Rwanda. Window has implemented a number of projects which have been backed with evidence and for so many years we have created solutions with uh, communities through different studies that we have conducted. So in most of our studies, which are youth-led and youth-focused, we found that young people do not hold to one status once they are supported. Uh, for instance, many of our tracer studies, market assessments and feasibility studies have shown that once we get in the communities, when these young adults are supported, their status, which has always been refugee, changes upon graduation and they blossom into different categories. They become young professionals, academics, entrepreneurs and hands-on skills, trainers, community change makers and multi-talented young people. So these categories are defined as follows. Under the young professionals, these are youth that have benefited from Windows from education support and they get employment in the corporate entities. The academics are like young professional category where they attain education and then they go on to pursue tertiary institution teaching and research as a career. Majority of, of whose work is now informing policy 
and creating change in Uganda and the countries of their origin. Entrepreneurs are youth that utilize window and partner skills development programs to acquire skills and venture into different businesses. And this transformation is common among the youth that were out of school at the time they fled their countries of origin. We define this as Window International Uganda's transformative web. My name is Belan Shimirimana. I'm a refugee from Burundi. I came here since 2010 and I was part of DAFI scholarship uh, from 2016 up to 2019. I studied in Kumba University and I did a uh, bachelor in public health. Uh, I am so grateful to Davis uh, Scholarship because uh, without Davis Scholarship I wouldn't be here today. Uh, I may say that it's very important as Window Trust to support refugees because most of refugee youth they don't have hope, they don't have hope to go back to school. With that scholarship opportunity all of us our hope has been raised high because most of us now we find that we are working and supporting our community. At first when I reached here in Uganda I, I wanted to do something related to health to support my my fellow communities because most of us as refugees when we reach here in Uganda you find that we don't know English and when when we go to we go to hospital for health services we feel like we don't know how to 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 talk on ourselves we always look for interpreters to support us I realized that I need to get some of the skills to make sure that whenever I'm in the hospital I support my I, I fully support my community I wanted to do uh, a course of medicine to make sure that I can know all those things relating to health diseases to support my community but I did public health and you know public health is more of a community health so for me the, the, what I do is that just to give knowledge to give information to the community members so that they can prevent being sick like for instance here in refugee communities most of them find that they don't have clean water so what to do is just to make sure that we prevent this diarrhea infection and what i make sure that i i give them information on how they go and they cook water to make sure that they drink safe water that is the benefit for me once i got this 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 i went back to school i made sure that the knowledge that i got from school i'm transferring to the community that i'm serving and also i would like to thank window trust for the good work that I have done to the refugee communities because i'm who i am because of them if i, I couldn't got back to school I couldn't be here today and I'm so happy because I've been successful in my life because of this scholarship that I got uh, as window continue advocating to donors to make sure that we get enough slot for refugee to go back to school because many refugee com uh, refugee youth they are just there they no longer have that hope because they are not seeing their future so but I, I, I do believe that once we go back to school we always our head are always high we always see that after uh, completing the studies I know I can start something small thank you